looking at the videos and it's great, I'm working on them. So yeah, it kind of comes and all that. And it's like, okay, now I need to kind of put A, B, C, D all together and cool yep. stuff. And yep, so absolutely. Okay. I leave it in your capable hands and methodology. <laughs> all right, well, let's check our tune in first. Good. That might be me. Hold on. Nope. Before I, <laughs> I, before I come here, but then a little bit of cold air will change that. Oh well, yeah, just leaving it in the back of a cold car in the winter time—that's enough to throw it off. Yeah, exactly. Here right. we that I do just to try and get my hand and I just sort of awesome very that good that kind of stuff and I'm just just stay on that string and just get picking it and hopefully it'll come another way um I might have shown this to you earlier um because I I know I still feel Might be a good one too. The flight of the bumblebee. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. Uh... No, I don't think you have shown me that. All right, it's just the warm up. That's all it is. That's fine. Okay, cause... but uh, you just do it on one string. Yeah, and I, because like I say, I'm still feeling this going on. Okay. You know, so a little thumb wiggle. Very good. All right, well let's um let's just start on the fourth fret on the on the D string. Okay. I don't know why I'm saying fourth fret on the D string. Just must feel like being there for there. some reason. Okay. All right. So all you're gonna do is climb up for shift and pick and go down. So it's not a slide per se where it's taking the pick stroke away. Mm -hmm. You're doing it at the same time. So you're shifting and picking. Okay. Okay. So once you've done, the, yeah. So one, two, three, four, shift. Two, three, four, shift. Two, four. Let's try that okay. together. Set of four, that first note, really smack that down and watch the thumb there. Okay? Bang, bang, bang. Because usually if you can start it well, the rest will follow. Try not to shift the hand until it's time to actually move, okay? You don't want to be like peeling off and then shifting, okay? So, wow. right. So that's, but that's, Some game, yeah. <laughs> but that's going to give you an opportunity because this, this is kind of brainless. Yeah. You know, really see what that thumb is doing. Okay. And if, like I said, if you can bang that first, that first note into play, then then the hand's going to just go on automatic pilot and just mm -hmm. not really even thinking about it. Okay. okay. Yeah, I don't even think about my, my pick hand per se much, no. really, because it's just, other than getting it into the right spot, which yeah. I struggle with as years go on. So, but yeah, just... I think for me, my, my speed, what's, what's holding back my speed is my right hand mm -hmm. with the picking. 
Yeah, well, that's so, very normal. Yeah. Very normal, because it's, it's a hard beast to control. Yeah. You, and you you got to get past that plateau. You'll get so good, and then all of a sudden it's just like, what's going on? That's when you really got to put in the extra hours and get, you know, break break out of that plateau. Yeah. And a lot of it's trust, too, you know? Like, we tend to fall into our comfort zone. And, mm -hmm. you know, that's that's not good. <laughs> Never a good no. thing. Okay. All right. Pinch harmonics. Mm -hmm. Well, we need gain for pinch harmonics. So yes, let's we do. do that first. Put it up to 11. <laughs> if I, I love could. that movie. <laughs> Why don't just make 10 louder? Well, these go to 11. <laughs> All right, so you got some gain there. Let's give you some volume. Well, once more. Okay, All right. And bridge pickup. Okay. Very hard to do it on... Uh... All right, so pinch harmonics are also what, what are called uh, artificial harmonics. Okay. okay? And our, uh, na there are natural harmonics and there are artificial harmonics. Mm -hmm. Artificial, or sorry, natural harmonics are the ones that you hear all the time, the 12th fret, mm -hmm. the 7th. Okay, very, very common, you know. All right, the fun. There's even some, you know, if you can pull off a few... You know, they also exist, you know, somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. um, a fun thing to also try is, like, I don't know why the G is very popular, but if you just lightly... Move your hand down there, you can also access lots of art, um, natural harmonics there, too. And just... Cool. It's kind of a fun little thing that you can do. I think it was on a Billy Idol song, I think uh, Steve Stevens did that. Oh, yeah. song, so or... Is that white wedding? Okay. Yes, yes, yeah. very good, very good. All right, so, um, yeah, so natural harmonics can occur in various spots, but some are more, are, are more obvious than others. Okay, yeah. so those are called natural harmonics. Artificial harmonics are harmonics that are placed in unnatural locations, if that makes sense, where they do not normally occur. Okay. All right. So what do I mean by that? Well, one of the easiest ways of, of demonstrating that is, take, let's take the 12th fret, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay. If we, instead of, instead of doing this, if we bar, let's say, the bottom two strings of the B and the E, mm -hmm. okay, just get this, okay, that will actually move the placement of our harmonic okay. two frets as well. So now, if you wanted to, you could play the B string and, and just lightly yeah see that mm -hmm. so that is a artificial harmonic oh, okay. it's a non-natural location you do that on the E string as well okay there you go very good so those are artificial harmonics and they will specifically say A H above it yeah you need to you need to hold that down there. This little baby wants to cry. It does. It's, <laughs> it's all those F holes there. Okay. So, what that means is a lot of times when we do pinch harmonics, we do pinch harmonics within a fretted context. We're not normally doing pinch harmonics off of open strings. We're usually... We're usually doing pinch harmonics off of fretted notes. Okay. Okay. So we have to understand that when we're moving around a little bit, we're also moving around the placement of the harmonics. You gotta match it. Yeah. That's right. So I since kinda, I kind of know this a little bit because from classical playing, mm -hmm. I've done it. But here you're like, yep, just doing that little tick. Absolutely. So yep. okay. All right. So, but instead of being at the 12th fret and in an obvious location, yeah. what we have to do is kind of figure out what's called a sweet spot for pinch harmonics. Okay. Okay. So what I what I do those before I even start trying to find them here is I try to get the mechanics of pinch harmonics down first. And the way that a pinch harmonic works is if my hand is the string here, you're gonna pick it, okay? Yeah. And then after it's picked, then your thumb you're kind of rolling the thumb onto it? Onto it and then immediately off of it. Okay? Oh, wow. Because okay. if you think of a pinch harmonic as like an artificial harmonic, if I keep my finger on it, it dies. Mm -hmm. But if I just kind of take touch it away, it, yeah. 
Did you hear how it still rings? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you got to do that with the side of your thumb as well. Okay. So let's actually do that. Let's go back to where our first finger was. Okay. okay. We'll just do the high E string for right now. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick that note. Just normally pick it. I know. Reach over and touch to get that harmonic to come out. Okay, one more time, and I want you to really get a good idea of how lightly you need to touch it. All right? Now, instead of using the tip of your finger, I want you to use the side of your thumb. Okay. Okay, try it again. That was, that was perfect. All right? So what this is doing is this is training you on how to make that point of contact with okay. your pick, or with your... your with your, the side of your thumb. So a couple more times. Are you picking back here or you, eventually we're going to be picking up yes, there? Yes, that's what yeah, we're doing. Okay. okay, good. Very good. Okay, so obviously if you use a lot of pick, mm -hmm. it's not going to work. Okay, so... Yeah. I'm trying to keep it more like that now. I'm trying to keep it a lot... I could probably even go a little less, but... Very good. What well, I'm finding is this guy wants to slip out <laughs> and he's touching stuff I'm yeah. sure yeah okay so yeah. now let's before we try to do the two together let's do them separately so pick there first and then put the side of your thumb on it okay okay rather than twisting just bring your thumb down to touch it okay just bring your hand down yeah there we go. And see, if, because eventually you want to do it all in one motion. There you go. Okay. Okay. Good. Now sometimes you'll get overtone harmonics where they're actually like one or two octaves higher than the, what you just played. Yeah. And that's, that's even just a matter of being like, like just slightly off a little bit and you'll get a completely different harmonic which is still fine yeah okay it's not really a musical technique per se it's just, it's just it's getting it to squeal that's yeah. right okay so now the the job is to try to do it all in one motion like that wow okay. so as soon as that pick lets let's go do it awesome that's okay. it cool. that is a pinch harmonic oh cool Okay, so you, you might have slid down or, or up a little bit there, but the idea is... There, very good. That is a pinch harmonic. Cool. Well done. Okay, so we've got the mechanics down. We, we have a well-established location. However, not very many pinch harmonics are played there. Okay. okay, so we need to, you know, come back to more of a realistic location. All right, so, but we can still use the same method to discover where these are. Let's do our pentatonic scale in A minor where we normally play. Good. Now let's go to the G string right there. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a bit of discovery here. We're going to try to find where pinch harmonics, where harmonics could be sitting. So what we're going to do is we're just going to pick first and just try to find the spot where yep like for me right about there see that so just a little bit south of your pickup there maybe even a little bit further down there it is see that all right so we know it's right there so let's do the same thing so now let's pick first and then put, touch it with, there you go. Okay. Remember not to try to change your thumb too much when you go to, to, to touch it. Because eventually it's all going to be one motion, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. So once you've got that, mm -hmm. try going... Yeah, you, need, you need to stay on top of those open strings, okay? Still keep that pivot action. Mm -hmm. All right, so... Uh, yeah, I never had a little trouble here. Let's see. 
That is a pinch harmonic. It wasn't the one that we wanted, but hey. Okay, let's let's do, try it again. Here. Yeah, do some discovery there. That's it. Yep, very good. Okay, so we've got that guy. For sure he works. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, what do we do with that? Well, let's try uh, let's try going up four notes. We'll start on the, the, the string behind. All right, so we're going to go up four notes. Just pentatonic scale. Oh, come back. <laughs> I lost it, man. Everything else is wanting to come through. Yeah, where did it go? I think it was a little closer. Well, that's, that's another one. Right there. There it is, okay. Okay. So you can get it to come out a few times. Good. Now the other thing to keep in mind is we're still we're still covering up on open strings, okay? Okay. So as I'm doing this, I'm still You still gotta you gotta keep those you open strings from ringing out. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Really? I think I'm muting that string too much. That's it. There we go. Awesome. Okay, cool. Alright, so so once that once you found it there on that string, yeah. it's in the exact same location on the string above it. Nice. Right, so we could go. Exactly. Cool. Good stuff. Yeah, for some reason pinch harmonics go really well with palm you. Okay, like yeah. Alright, it's just a lot of a lot of fun. Love that guy. Alright. <laughs> I could play it all day. Okay. So um, oh, you gotta grow your hair long again, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's kind of the premise of pinch harmonics. So, what else can you do with that? Um, well, bending with them is is great. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's do this. Let's do a bend and release as a pinch harmonic. Okay. Yep. This guy. So we'll have to bring our pick a little bit. Yeah. Okay, now there you go. The thing that you have to think about is see how small the frets are here? Yeah. Okay, the pinch harmonics will be that much closer to each other as well, the locations, okay? Yeah. So even though you're making big moves here, you're the actual change, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's not consistent space wise. Right? Like, look at my pick hand. Yeah. I might be moving like a centimeter. Yeah. Right? So. Right? So. All right. Cool. So let's try that. So bend and release. Okay. And now bring your pick a little bit. No, we're on the we're on the, the G string double. That is the right yeah. location. All right, so. Here it is. There you go. Oh, awesome. Got it. Got it. Okay. Or got it. <laughs> All right, so let's do one more thing. I love okay. this one. Um, 
Oh wow. That's the screaming guitar. Yep. Do you hear that? Do you hear the overtone? Oh yeah. It's really, really cool. What I like about that is there's a pinch harmonic there. Occasionally you get it right. So let's go up to the 12th fret okay. um, location. All right. So thankfully the pick harmonics are kind of in the same spot, right? So we're going to do the G string first. Right about there. That's right. Okay. And then rather than shifting your arm, you're just going to rotate it because the next pinch harmonic for this guy is obviously, he's going to be back a bit, right? But not by much. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Right on. Awesome. Okay. So once those two are ringing out, you're going to do the old train whistle bend that yeah. Okay, but you... But now it's the yeah. intro mic. Isn't this annoying? <laughs> it's fun to learn, but man, like you said, you can be annoying everybody with it. It's kind of like somebody learning to play the violin. It sounds terrible at first. <laughs> You gotta turn it up loud to get it to go. Too. Oh yeah, you need the game. Headphones would probably be a good thing. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Yep. Yep, we'll start. Make sure you got it first and then do the bend. That's it. Oh, yeah, okay. headphones are a must here. We'll do that. <laughs> Alright, but that's, that's again, something really cool. It just sounds like you've got some crazy effect on it when you, when you do it as a slow bend. Now, obviously, the other way that you could do it is, um, I'm sure you've seen this. You can do that. A lot of times, people will just do that bend while it's going try to get the pinch harmonics to come along with it as well. Okay. And you'll do it sometimes in good spots. And... Okay, so... Yep, so you're just, you're locking it down and you're just pulling it... And then... I think there's also a bunch right about here too. Yep. But the idea is if you don't get it, no big deal, because what you're doing is you're just hacking at it in different yeah. spots. Right? So mm -hmm. that's it's a really, really fun thing to do. Alright, so um, yeah, so we did it up here. Also try it here. Right, so. There you go. Yep. Yep. This guy, I, you know, with with him, I try to be a little more agitated. Like. The idea is, you know, do your <laughs> discovery first, like find the note. Yeah. Like for me, it's right there. That's a good one too. Nice. So in a case like that, you would almost do a pit, um, a, harm, a harmonic this way, where you go like, like, let it, let it, you know, let it naturally first, and then then bring in the harmonic and the feedback that goes along with it and that's really cool. Yeah. You've got the note, then the harmonic, and then the feedback naturally builds in. Mm -hmm. 
vent, like if it was loud enough, you could yeah, vent just like it would ring all night. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and the crowd would go wild. Yeah. <laughs> all right, but that kind of stuff is really okay. cool. The lower notes. <laughs> Doesn't happen so much on that. You don't no. do it up, up there too often, but for sure the middle notes, like the middle strings and the lower strings for sure. Okay. All right, so Pinch Harmonics 101. How was that? Cool. All right, let's leave it there then. Okay. It's amazing how fast these lessons go by.